Hi, I'm Mrs. Rainwater and I teach third grade and I'm gonna share a book called Q is for Duck. Okay, so it's an alphabet um, guessing game. So you're gonna have to guess as I read along, like why like the Q is actually for duck and not for something else. Okay, so here we go. So we'll start at the beginning. It says A is for zoo. Why do you think A is for zoo? Because animals live in a zoo. B is for dog. Why do you think B would be for dog? Because dogs bark. C is for hen. Why would you think that? Because a hen clucks. D is for mole. Because a mole digs. Now E is for whale. Why do you think E would be for whale? because a whale is enormous. F is for bird. Why? Because a bird flies. G is for horse because a horse gallops. H is for owl. You might have guessed that one. Because an owl hoots. I is for mosquito. Why would you think I would be for a mosquito? Because mosquito bites itch. J is for kangaroo, why? Because a kangaroo jumps. K is for mule, because a mule kicks. L is for frog. Why would L be for frog? Because a frog leaps. M is for cow, you probably know that one because the cow moves. N is for cat. Why do you think N would be for cat? Because a cat naps. O is for pig. Probably guessed that one. A pig oinks. P is for chick, because a chick peeps. Q is for duck, title of our book, because a duck quacks. R is for lion, because a lion roars. S is for camel. Why would you think S would be for camel? because a camel spits. T is for elephant, because an elephant trumpets. U is for prairie dog. Why would you be for prairie dog? Because a prairie dog lives underground. V is for chameleon. Why? That's an interesting one. It's because a chameleon vanishes. W is for snake. Why would W be for snake? Because a snake wiggles. X is for dinosaur, why? Because they are extinct. Y is for coyote, because a coyote yells. And Z is for animals, because the animals live in the zoo. There you go. I would have to say my favorite genre is historical fiction. So I love um, really, really good fiction books that has um, that talks a lot about history because it's a great way to learn history. Like the I Survive series is a great um, Ranger in Times, another great series. So any sort of historical fiction books, those are definitely my favorite to read.